What is the best Latin dictionary? And where can I find words for new concepts like telephone, airplane, and computer? I'm Luke, and this is Polymathy. Just about every day, I take advantage of the dictionaries from English to Latin and Latin to English at latinitium.com. Latinitium is run by Daniel Pedersen, one of the best Latinists of our generation, along with Amélie Rosengren. Latinitium also has a fantastic YouTube channel you should subscribe to. Link's in the description. Daniel and Amélie have also put out a couple of outstanding books that you should definitely consider getting, Adalpes and Fugio Bruti. Daniel actually wrote this book and Amelie did the illustrations. I highly recommend both of them. So how do we use the Latinitium dictionaries? I can choose from any of the dictionaries here, or I can just search for all of them at once. For example, if I type the word Kena, immediately I'm prompted with the correct word, which I can click on, as you see. It takes me to that entry, and I get all the information in Lewis and Short. It's fantastic. And if it suggests a sim similar or related word, like here's Apelamus, which is used in context, I can just click on it directly. And there's the entry for Apello, as we just saw. This incredibly useful and wonderful interconnected series of dictionaries was prepared by Johann Vinga, otherwise known as Alatius, who has done such a huge amount for our community. I can also search for an English word, like call. I can choose from the substantive, that is the noun, or the verb. And I get all of the appropriate terms. And again, I could click on this word, say fruges, and it loads it for me. Isn't that fantastic? Thank you, Daniel Pedersen. Thank you, Johan Vinga. Thank you, Amelie. We are in your debt that we have this resource available to us. Definitely check out their publications, as well as consider subscribing to their fantastic YouTube channel. The next we're going to talk about is Godme's site. This fantastic site, which is located at lexica.linguax.com, has compiled digitized versions of some of the most useful dictionaries I've ever come across. First, we see Latin to Greek and Greek to Latin dictionaries, extremely useful for those of us who are studying both languages. I can search for a word like nomen, and then it loads the facsimile of the page. Nomen, onoma. And I can also search for a Greek word, onoma. And there it is, onoma, nomen, vocabulum. Super duper useful. Also at Godme's Lexica Linguax is a similar Latin Greek, Greek Latin dictionary by Scrivelius and Latin only dictionaries. One of my favorite, the Forcellini. Forcellini allows you to search for Latin in Latin. So this is a dictionary for Latin speakers. Nomen antiquitus nominus pronominis usurpatum, and so forth. So it gives you the actual definition of the word in Latin, just like a dictionary in any native language. Thank you so much, Godmi, or Godmi. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. You can also donate to him directly if you would like to thank him for his outstanding work in digitizing all of these dictionaries for our benefit. And finally, how do we find words for things, concepts, ideas that have been invented since the Roman Empire fell? Well, the first part to consider is that Latin has been used and written continuously by people for more than 2,000 years. There's never been a break where people haven't been using Latin actively and communicatively. And because of that, people have come up with words for pretty much every concept that has been developed in the Middle Ages, Renaissance, and Modern Era. And this is where you can find them. Neolatinlexicon.org This website is run by one of the other great Latinists of our generation, Patrick M. Owens. We owe him a great debt for the digitization of this, as well as to the Paideia Institute for making it available, as well as the late David Morgan, who started this project. We owe all of them a huge debt of gratitude because we can search for all kinds of things. For example, France. France is a new concept. And we get these kinds of results. Normally, you're going to want to concentrate here on the left side, on the entries from the adumbratio, as opposed to the silua, the distinction being that the adumbratio tends to have terms with greater Latinity. That is, they fit within the norms of Latin much more consistently. So here are some words for France. Gallia. Also, galliae, the Gauls, plural. Francia also exists. As well as Franco Gallia, Gallo Francia. And the names of certain authors who have used them are also highlighted here. Sometimes there are also useful comments. The ordinary terms for France at all periods are Gallia and Francia. The former is more common, that is Gallia. 
Franco Gallia appears to have been coined by François Othman for his book of that title in 1574. It is rare before the 19th century, and Gallo Francia is still rarer. So you can search for a term directly here, or you can go to the Adumbratio or the Silva Corpora directly. Here's the Adumbratio. There are useful notes which you should read about what these sorts of entries mean, a medieval word or a modern word between 7 and 1400, and uh, after 1400 and so forth, where these terms may have come from, and the vast, vast resources that they are sourced from. This is one giant list, and it starts with geographical terms. Britain cin cities, London, Palace of Westminster, Houses of Parliament, Aula, Wiest, Ministeri. Isn't that fantastic? And so forth. So there are often several options. For example, what is Czech or Bohemian? Bohemus is very common, as well as Bohemus. And you can make that option based off of the authors that have been cited to use it, or the time period. Let's scroll down to someplace random after the geography section. Grammatical terms, subject, argumentum, subjectum. Oh, that's very useful. Play, a piece of music or other recording on a stereo computer, etc. To show a project. Representare, a recording studio. Phonographeum. Let's go to one other random place. Arena, stadium, amphitheatrum, stadium, and so forth. I use those resources almost every day. Thank you so much to Daniel Pedersen, Emily Rosengren, Johan Venga, Godmi, and Patrick Owens for all that you do for our community every single day. And if you'd like to support me, my patrons on Patreon get access to hours and hours of audiobooks with new ones published every week. You can also buy my audiobooks separately on my audiobook store. And thank you so much for liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and also subscribe to Scorpio Martianus, my channel with content entirely in Latin and ancient Greek. Summas gratias, Wobisago. Walete. Well,